Hello everyone, today's shave, or going back to a brand that I only tried once and this time around is gonna be Barrister and Man and the scent is Marilyn, it's just out this was an old one that Barrister and Man brought back and it's just out now for sale first of all before we start I wanna thank Barrister and Man for sending this Will and Polly, thank you for wrapping it up and packaging it up properly, thank you now as I said Barrister and Man sent this to me the whole set, we have the soap, the balm, the splash and the EDT. By the way, I already have had a look at the scent notes because they're described there on the EDT. I already know more or less what to expect, I think. To go with it, we're going back to a badger knot, Yaki 24 brush and uh, since it's natural fibers, let's put it straight away to soak. So now the brush is there soaking, let's grab the razor and it's gonna be the King C Gillette. I have been getting a lot of uh, people asking me to shave with this one. I already did, there's a video that I've done on this, actually a rant about it and you can go and look for it or I might put the link for you guys. So I'm gonna use it just as it comes on the package, I'm not gonna do like the last time where I changed the handle and to go with it we're going back to the blades we used in the last shave in the last comparison so one of the feather ones here we go sharpest on the market with a king c gillette let's load it up there we go load it up let's put it there on the back and now let's wet the face before we start opening the soap there we go just dry the hands first and now as you guys can see it's still sealed so let's unseal it first of all now let's see what we have inside. Here we go. Marilyn by Barrister and Man. I have to say it's not intense here, it's very subdued actually, but it hits you straight away. So this is a manly scent I have to say. Manly, manly scent. It's kind of on a tree here on the puck. It, it doesn't hit you straight away. Mmm, yeah, you can you can feel the tonka bean here, tobacco, the amber, and yeah, there's a, a hint of um, uh, what was it, it? It's flower. It's flowery on the back. But the main main thing that hits me straight away, it's um, how how can I say this? It's a, a strong manly scent. Very very manly actually. But um, classy, very classy. Ooh, let's put the lid on the back there. There we go. Yeah, there's hints of floral on the back, but the main ones would be, I would say, the woodsiness, the um, probably the amber, but you guys know that amber with me, it's kind of hard to, to find, but there's, I, I don't know if it's tobacco. Is there leather? Hold on. Um, oh yeah, there's leather here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you there the scent notes and I'm gonna read it there. Amber, bergamot, cedar, clary sage, coriander, fir, labdanum, leather, opopon, which I haven't a clue what it is, tonka, tobacco, sandalwood, vetiver and lang lang. So that's probably the floral that I'm feeling, it's probably the lang lang. There's a bit of spiciness there with the coriander as well, but I would say the ones that are hitting me more, it's the woods in it, the tobacco, the tonka bean, the leather, they're the main ones that are coming forward. Very sexy. Yeah, but this is a manly scent I have to say, which I wasn't expecting because Marilyn I thought would be more of a uh, kind of going flora or something like that and I know Marilyn was big into perfumes as well Ooh, yeah this is lovely lovely let's go let's start loading the brush and start the leathering process here we go There you go, just washed it and I have to say I didn't even leather and it already intensified the scent. Uh, the scent went up straight away as soon as the water hit up to a five. Yeah, it, it's a dude here but it's more intense here, that's for sure. So let's go, let's put this back there for drying. There you go and now let's start our leathering process. Here we go. There we go, leathered up. Oh my god. Yeah, look at the density on this leather. Wow, exceptional. 
And I have to say, yeah, this is probably one of the most manly scents I've tried. This is very, very, but very, very classy, I have to say. Very, very classy. Um, on the leather is on a five. It's not the most intense scent that uh, you've tried, but it's very, very manly. Very, I, I have to read in the end the description, which I didn't do yet, but this is lovely, lovely. It, it definitely classy, I have to say. Probably that's why the name Merlin. This is definitely sense that reminds you of a of a man of a classic well-dressed man that's what this feels like and you guys can see I'm just straightening it out there but look at the, this leather look at the density on this leather and I know for a fact I can put a lot more water but as you guys know I like a bit of density there we go just put this on the back there now for the second pass grab the razor there you go and I have to say that the, that floral that I was talking about it keeps hitting you from time to time it's like everything mingled together how can I explain this scent um, now I know for a fact I'm missing the amber here because you guys know that my nose with amber is kind of iffy but the tobacco the leather the, the, the woodsiness there and definitely the, it has bergamot but I don't feel it I have to say I have to be honest but definitely there's the floral there on the background which give it gives it a bit more um, perfumey more classy not as uh, uh, I don't want to call it I don't want to keep calling it just uh, manly because tobacco leather the woodsiness all that stuff it's very very manly I have to say yeah but this is gorgeous gorgeous so let's go wet the blade there King Sigilet with a feather second use with a grain There we go, first pass is done and I have to say this scent is fabulous. Without being intense, without being overpowering, it's very well blended I have to say. And it's classy, 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 classy scent. Oh, very manly as well. Very, very manly I have to say. Can't stop saying that word but it is. Uh, there's a few uh, scents or a, a few soaps that uh, they're manly but an, a lady can use it as well like you know what I mean. This one I can't identify any woman that would be using this. It's just, it, it, um, I, I said before, it reminds me of a well-dressed man kind of perfume you know what I mean oh it's just gorgeous and it's not intense it's not subdued it's right there in the middle I still give it about a five in terms of intensity it's kind of a proximity kind of scent it's not those ones that just spread all over the place it's one of those that you pass through someone and someone will go hmm hmm do you know what I mean that's that's the kind of perfume I'm talking about not that one that you're coming and the perfume hits you before the person even gets there yeah it's just gorgeous gorgeous so let's go let's get ready for second pass there we go now let's grab the brush with all this lovely lovely leather and let's get ready for second pass here we go There we go, leathered up, yeah. <laughs> I didn't need to do much now. As you guys know, second pass is just a paint, kind of that way. And there's so much leather on the outside that I don't even need to push too much into the brush to take it out. It's just <laughs> loads of leather. This base by uh, Barrister and Man, really, really good. Just straightening it out there now. As you guys saw and can see, loads of leather, density, protects. Yeah, and this scent is just... <sighs> Oh man, if the EDT and the Splash and all of them have exactly the same scent as this, I'm gonna be using this on special occasions, I have to say. That's for sure. I'm not a single guy, but this would be one that I would use. You know what I mean. So let's put it on the back there. Grab the razor, King C. Gillette, Feather Blade, second use. Let's go across. Here we go. Ah. <sighs> Second pass then, I have to say. Yeah, I'm in love with this scent. I'm really in love with this scent. And I'm gonna be honest, this wouldn't be, if I read the scent notes, this wouldn't be one that would uh, call the attention to me, to be honest. <sighs> but after smelling it, oh yeah, this is a... Uh, oh. Good. I understand now why why Barristan and Matt brought it back. Mm, it's lovely. Lovely. Gorgeous. So, oh, by the way, the razor. <laughs> I didn't change my opinion about this razor at all. I still feel the same way as I did before. Nothing changed. But I leave this for the conclusions in the end and I'll, I'll talk about it. There's a lot of excellent things here, but there's other ones that for me are kind of uh, iffy, if you know what I mean. So, let's go. Let's put this there. Let's wet the face and uh, check out the amount of leather we still have left. Here we go. 
there we go. Now let's grab the brush. Let's see how much we still have left here. Here we go. Wow, wow, so much leather still. Gorgeous, very, very shiny guys, look. Very, very shiny. And this scent, oh my God. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm in love with this scent, guys. And look, so much. I could have done another four passes easy enough with the amount of leather I have here. It just feels so great on the skin, guys. So, so good, like, I love this. Well, let's go, let's take this. Look at this. Look how much I have on the face and look how much I still have on the hand. Loads. So, let's go, let's take this off. There we go. Now let's pet the face. And now let's go for some witch hazel. Here we go. There we go, there we go, just lovely. I didn't have any feedback, I have to say, at all. My skin is just feeling gorgeous, mmm, lovely. So, now let's let this dry, I'm gonna wash all my stuff, and I see us back for the post shave, and then the conclusions. See us in a bit. We're back, so I washed all my stuff, now we go into the post shave. As usual, I like to start with the balm, so the balm it is. Here it is, so let's unseal it since it's still sealed there. Lovely. This is my first time trying the Barrister and Man balm. Wow. Very, very creamy. Very, 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 very creamy, I have to say. Mmm. Lovely. Yeah. The scent is the same. And I have to say, it didn't went down, it didn't went up. Exactly the same as the soap. Mmm. Lovely. What a lovely balm. Put a bit there on my forehead. Oh, wow. I know this is hard to do. Some balms is hard to keep the same um, scent or the same intensity. No, this is exactly like the soap. And the other thing I'm loving, even on my hands, is just moisturized. It's just really, really moisturized. Lovely. Yeah, this on winter, perfect. Now, we're gonna get the splash now, sealed as well, so we're gonna have to unseal it. I wanna check one thing first. Yes, we're gonna have to shake it as well. Hopefully it shows there the oils, so we're gonna have to mix them. But before that, let's go and unseal it. Ooh, a bit more intense here on the splash. Not by much, the same, same scent. Probably a six here. Yeah, give it a point up, but not by much. Let me just check one thing. Hopefully, it's alcohol based. I didn't have any feedback, I have to say. Uh, it could be that the balm helped protecting straight away before I even put the alcohol there. Oh, but this scent is gorgeous. Yeah, I went up a point with the splash. And one thing I have to say, you do feel the oils as well. Although I already have the balm underneath, you definitely feel the oils from the splash as well. So, oh. And you guys can see, my skin is shiny, moisturized, feeling lovely and smelling really, really good. Oh yeah, lovely. Now, let's recap the shave and go to our conclusions. We used Badger Knot by Yaki, Yaki24. You guys know that I'm not big into Badger, but um, I'm starting to actually like it because it's kind of scratchy, but soft at the same time. Although I'm still more prone to synthetics and bore brushes because my hair is kind of coarse and it helps to lift quicker. This is more uh, mm, uh, people that don't have coarse hair, sensitive skin, I think this is more applicable for them because very very soft plush I have to say so that's the brush now I'm gonna try not to rant about the King C I'm gonna try to be positive as well um, I think the King C Gillette it's a brilliant head really good head would be a perfect beginner razor especially for the price point it's available everywhere would be a great great starter shaver because of this head this head is really good it's a mild efficient razor. The problem with the King C Gillette and I started when I started I purchased one of them this one actually and the problem I had with it is the handle because it's kind of hard to grab and if you're a beginner and you're starting you have to get a bit of grip there and you don't know exactly what you're doing so you want to move the, the the thing around and you know try new things and this handle doesn't allow you 
to do because it's very slippery uh, especially for example now I have the bomb and the splash there and as soon as I press she starts twisting because of this knurling here uh, it just doesn't allow you to to be free to, 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 to feel secure when you're shaving with this one now that I have more technique now I have more experience it was me brilliant shaves I have to say but my advice is especially for example I'm gonna give an example in Brazil I know they don't have a lot of options and this is one of the options they have now uh, which is the King C yeah go get it but as soon as you have a chance change the handle it will make this razor transform into a really good shaver um, it's just the handle my gripe with it is the handle and I think they did it on purpose to be honest I already said this before I think it was uh, really so that people would use this just for trim and not for shaving itself but the head is a brilliant shaver I have to say so I don't want to rent too much it's a good shaver for beginners if you change the handle so if you don't have other options grab this one and as soon as you can change the handle that's my advice and that's my only gripe with this one is the handle now let's go for the start of the shave and with the name of a star as well so Marilyn by Barrister and Man I already said it and I'm gonna say it again if I read these scent notes it wouldn't be one that would call my attention I'm gonna be honest yeah now once you open this and you start using it you'll see what I'm talking about it's a really manly classy classy scent oh, it's just gorgeous gorgeous it's subdued on the puck I'm gonna say it again on the puck like this is about a tree so very very subdued but as soon as the water heats it'll go up up to a four sometimes five depending yeah but it's just feels so nice like that. yeah lovely it is just lovely and the base of barrister and man is a really really good base it's hard to find bad bases nowadays and this one is a really really good base a lot of protection a lot of sleekness leathers easy easy without any problem once or ever that's the Maryland soap then we finished up with the balm this balm is very creamy very 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 creamy uh, same scent as the the soap didn't change a bit didn't went up didn't went down suits the skin just to perfection i have to say really really good and then we went and we finished off with the splash which you have to shake because of the oils so you have to give it a bit of shake there and the scent went up on the splash i give it about a six on the splash it's still not intense but it's has more intensity than the soap and the, and the balm and uh, the other thing as well if you want to only grab this you'll be moisturized as well because you feel the oils here that's for sure that's the splash that we finished off with so that was our shave for today Marilyn a beautiful 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 scent classy I'm gonna say it again it feels like a well-dressed man because this is a manly scent I have to say and the other thing as well even though this is not intense the scent is here all the time it's not not spreading no but it's here it's not going away even when I put the witch hazel the scent was still there and you feel it as I said before I'm gonna give the description it's one of those scents that you, ha you have to pass someone for them to smell you it's not one of those that the scent would get there before you do but as soon as you pass people will be looking you know what I mean it is just really really classy <sighs> lovely lovely before we finished off I, I was forgetting something grab the phone and I didn't read the descriptions that barrister and man has here here. I'm gonna read them on the site of Barrister and Man. Introducing Marilyn, a sprawling Baroque tribute to Monroe and her legacy. Blended with notes of amber, bergamot, cedar, clary sage, coriander, fir, labdanum, leather, opoponax, tonka, tobacco, sandalwood, vetiver and lang lang. Marilyn is a powdery, cedary descent into what it means to feel stylish and sexy. Mm kept with herbs and florals and underlaid by the promise of desire cast in the mold of golden age perfumery the sort of fragrance that surrounded Monroe during her lifetime Marilyn is the perfect representation of the impact she left behind tune for a masculine audience and perfect for the most intimate of company well I think I wasn't that far from the description they have here uh, 
Yeah, I understand this because that's the feeling I got as well. I thought it was very sexy scent, very manly scent and uh, proximity, not for far away. Definitely. So I read the description there from Barrister and Man. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. And now, once again, thanks to Barrister and Man for sending this set to me to try it. I'm gonna have to be really honest. This surprised me. It really did because when I read the scent notes on the opening, I wasn't expecting to feel this. And it is really, really good. And I understand now why they brought it back. That's it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed this shave. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. It really Really, really helps the channel and if you want to help the channel even more there's my affiliate links there's the codes you guys can use for some discounts and I hope to see us in the next one bye bye ciao